Now, uh, one of the biggest problems that you get coming back onto CB nowadays in 2017 compared to what we had in the 80s is local interference or what we call QRM and this is artificially created radio signals uh, from devices normally around your home things like cheap Chinese uh, power supplies laptop uh, power supplies uh, sort of internet sort of routers things like that uh, LED lighting solar panels TVs not so much nowadays with LED and uh, LCD but the old plasma TVs used to uh, cause a problem so what happens is this this creates more and more sort of artificial RF noise more radio interference and you'll find that the uh, signal meter on your radio just goes up and up and up and depending where you live I mean if you live in a kind of tight condensed sort of housing estate a bit like I do some people have consistently got S6 to S7 of noise and what that means is that any radio stations or, or breakers that are coming in below that noise level you simply won't hear because they uh, they get they get wiped out now to give you an example of that I'm currently on a park site on holidays so everything is fairly fairly open here and the level of noise is quite low as you can see on the display there I've got S1 of noise and if I turn the squelch down basically just just static just what you'd expect but if I turn the uh, the channel selector up and we go to 3 you can see straight away I've got a signal now of S4 and that is created by local interference I'm not sure what it is around here I know they've installed a new CCTV system and as you say, as we go through the bands, channel 5, the noise level is completely dropped. And that's absolutely no noise at all. And that's ideal for uh, picking up sort of, you know, distant stations. But as I go through a game, a little bit of noise there. There we go, back to channel 3. And uh, that level of noise again. So it, it is a problem, you know, if, you, if you're in a uh, sort of... An, an area where you've got dense housing and uh, there's not much you can really do about it I mean one of the things you can do is to check that you're not creating the noise yourself and the way to do that is you're going to need a 12 volt battery I don't know if you've got a spare battery that uh, for your car or even if you might be able to remove the battery from your car I know that's difficult nowadays when cars store forts and things but what you need to do is get yourself a 12 volt battery that will power the radio just on the receive you don't have to worry about keying up so and then literally switch off the power in your house wait till everyone wait till everyone goes out especially your missus and just just switch off the main power fuse in your house okay so you've got no power going into your house and then look at the uh, the meter now if you've got s7 of noise and suddenly your meter drops down to say s2 then obviously the problem that's created it is in your own house so then the next stage to do is to switch switch your power back on and then normally on a uh, modern circuit breaker rcb fuse box you'll have individual switches for your ring main circuit maybe upstairs if you're in a house obviously the ring main circuit downstairs um your lighting circuit and then just go individually switch off one by one and then come back and look at the meter on your cb and if you get to a stage for example say your lighting when you switch the lighting circuit off, the 5 amp circuit, it drops back. And then when you switch your 5 amp back on, it goes up. Then obviously it's probably one of your one of your lights. And you might, like me, you might have some of these LED uh, GU10 type bulbs. And it might be one of those that's putting out RF interference. If, of course, you connect your radio to a car battery and then you switch off your, your mains electricity and your noise level doesn't auto or it maybe drops back 1, 1 S point, then unfortunately, you know, you're stuck with it. It's obviously one of your neighbours has got something that's polluting with RF and there's not much you can do. I mean, you can't really go around and ask them to switch their electricity off. And So if you're in that situation, then it's very frustrating to be a home base at home. If you've got S7, S S6 of noise, you're only going to get local uh, local signals. So it's not the end of the world, though. I mean, you know, bear it, if you've got a uh, portable cb like the 9900 here or maybe an older cb i mean they're designed to be used in a car that's why they run on 12 volts 
So it still might be worthwhile if you've got a car or you've got use of a car, you know, get yourself a fairly decent um, magmat antenna, one from the Serio range, you know, 2,000, 3,000, uh, maybe the four or 5,000 if you're not going to drive, if, you, if you're willing to go sort of uh, static mobile. But get that and, you know, go on the internet, look, look at your local area. If you're not sure, find a, low, a high point, find a high point of ground close to your uh, home and drive out there get your you know get yourself up as high as you can put the antenna on the roof and then hopefully when you're away from housing you know your qrm your interference will drop back to a reasonable level i mean you know it, it varies two to three possibly is about right i would say two to three if you've got four to five you've got you've got an issue and and yeah it might just be you have to drive out a little bit i know it's a bit inconvenient but that might be the only way you can uh, contact sort of stations so there you go um i say noise qrm especially home base is a problem nowadays it in the back in the day you know it wasn't an issue but with everything going on with loads of like in, internet wireless lands and uh, mobile phones you know uh, it's, everything's bloody wireless so uh, that is an issue anyway i hope that's uh, helpful to you don't give up keep searching you know keep the radio on scan and hopefully you'll get some contacts okay cheers thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one.